Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now this video is about setting up crow brakes. Now crow brakes are used on gliders. Now this is when you're coming into land and you apply full down flap, you will get crow brakes go up and you can make your ailerons do this so they go slightly up. So uh, let's switch over to the computer and I'll show you how to program this with your HTX radio. Okay, first thing, let's have a look at the flight modes. Now you can see here, I've set up a global variable there, which is uh, crow, and I've done this at 40%. Now you may need to play around with these figures to get the right amount of crow break that you want. Now you can also see here that I've got uh, um, flap one and flap two, that's half flap and full flap. I'm not gonna go into that on this video because I've got videos to show you how to set that up, how to set uh, an in two independent flaps up, and also a video that shows you how to set up a safe throttle. So I'm not gonna go through this uh, with these in this video because it will take too long, but you can go and have a look at those videos and it will show you how to do that. Right, let's switch back to the computer. So our inputs are going to be standard. If we go to mixes, okay, you can see that we need to put a line onto our aileron. There's line one for aileron one, and then line there's line two for aileron number two. So you, you obviously the provisors you must have two uh, servos, one in each wings for each aileron. Okay, but before we go into to the actual programming here, I want to take a look at the logical switches. And as I said earlier, I've got a separate video that shows you how to set a safe throttle up, but we need to add this line. If we go and have a look here on um, logical switch three, the function is and. I've said switch SE in the back position and not SB in the forward position. Now what this does, we are going to use this logical switch in our mixes. We know where to put a physical switch in. And what this means is, that we, our crow brakes will only activate when we have full down flap. If they're not down if full, fully, the crow brakes will not activate. So let's go through this again. So it's logical, the logical switch we've, I'm using is number three, and the function is and, it's switch SE in the back position, not, and V2 is not SB switch in the forward position, and we don't need to put anything else in there. So let's switch back to the mixes. Okay, so on off channel one, where I've got my first aileron, on, if we double click here, we can see what we need to put in there. So the source is switch SE, and we have got a weight, our, a global variable, and you can see we picked up our global variable one, which is crow, and our switch is going to be logical switch three. And I've also put a delay on this of 1.5 seconds. And this will, um, if you watch my previous videos, this will make the crow bags not just suddenly flip up, they will slowly go up. Then we will put the second, on our second server, we would do the same. You can sw uh, sources switch SE. Our weight is global variable, this time minus global variable crow, one crow. Uh, di uh, diff is zero and our logical switch is logical switch three, and I've put a slow uh, up and down of 1.5 seconds. Now, to finish this off, if we go to special functions, and you can see I've set some sounds up here. You can see uh, special function nine and 10. I've, set, I've put on the first one, it's uh, not logical switch three, play track, crow off, and let's... Crow off. And you can see special function 10 in my case, logical, where it's logical switch three, play track, and that's crow on. Crow on. Now let's demonstrate this working. Disarm motors. Aileron, do a wave off. Flaps, uh, crow off. Okay, we're gonna our channel monitors. Make sure everything. Motors. Right, so if we now activate our flaps, which should be this flaps one, half. you can see our flaps are halfway down. If we go to switch SB, nothing, nothing's happening. If we now go to full flap, flaps full. and we then, crow on. now our crow is on, you can see our ailerons have both gone up. Now you would have to uh, obviously watch the weights in your aeroplane. Um, in the mixes to check whether they're actuating and going the correct way. You may have to put a must plus or it may have to be a minus figure. So there we go. Let's go back and just demonstrate it again. You can see. Crow off. So if we put Crow the... On. 
crow on, but we turn our flaps off, the crow will drop, the crow brakes will drop anyway as soon as we do anything to the flaps. Now let's take a look at the settings on the radio. Let's go into the model settings. And we are going to go across until we get to our mixes. And you can see our first mix there. Let's go through this. I'll put source switch SE. The weight um, is the crow global variable that we set up. We're going to set up. Our offset is zero and our curve is zero and logical switch three. And then we've got our delay. 1.5 seconds, 1.5 seconds. Let's come out of there. I'm going to go to our second aileron channel, our second servo, and we're going to have another look there. And you can see we've got switch SE, we've got negative um, the um, global variable for the crow, uh, offset zero and diff zero, logical switch three, and then the delay of 1.5, 1.5 seconds. Okay, now we can move on until we get to our global variables. And you can see I've set the global variables up there. The crow at 40. And you can see that flap 1 and flap 2, half flap, full flap are set up there as well. But that's in another video. Now we're going to go to, to our logical switches. And then we need to set this logical switch up here. So let's edit that. You see the function is AND. The... Uh, V1 is switch SE in the back position, uh, V2 is not SB, switch SB in the forward position, and that is it. And finally, we can go on to our special functions, which I'm going to go right to the bottom, and you can see I've just two, set up two sounds. So, uh, special function 9 in my case is not logical switch 3, it plays the track crow off. And if we go into the next logical switch, it's this time it is logical switch three, play track crow on. And there we go. Now let's demonstrate this. Tap, go to our monitors. Okay, so we are going to put our flaps down. Flaps half. And if we do our switch SB, you see nothing happens. The crow bakes don't deploy. We go full flap. Flaps full. Crow bakes. Crow on. The crow is on. But as soon as we turn the flaps off, Okay, there we go, demonstrated. So, there we go. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, and if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below, because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.